as Photoshop gets bigger and bigger, it gets harder to work out where on earth anything is, and you can find yourself just diving around menus, trying to search for where certain tools are located, trying to remember what's the best workflow. Now, obviously, this is uh, causing problems for people at Adobe. They have problems because they want to sell Photoshop to lots of different people. They want to leave all these features in, but they've got to try and make it easier for people to find their way about. And to remedy the uh, the feature bloat, for want of a better word, that, uh, that Photoshop's been developing into, CS4 has added a, an extra very useful utility called Adobe Configurator. Now, this does only work with uh, Photoshop CS4. But you can download it directly from Adobe's labs, and I'll give you the URL for that towards the end of this video. Um, but Configurator allows you to create custom panels for yourself. Now, an example of one of those is one I pr pr created earlier here, and we've got under the window and extensions. You see, I've got an LAB workflow panel, which, if I bring it up, brings up a special panel that I've created myself that accesses some scripts or some actions. Um, takes me directly to Unsharp Mask, say, allows me to flatten an image, move into RGB colour. And these are some things that I find quite useful for working in LAB. Um, and just to demonstrate, if I click on any of these, for instance, the Unsharp Mask one, it's going to bring up the Unsharp dialog box, and we shall discuss that later. But you see, it just provides a useful clearing place for you to put commands that you use often. You can download Configurator from Adobe Labs. You'll need to um, sign in there and get yourself a, uh, an account with them. Um, and then you'll be able to download this AIR application, so you also need to have AIR installed. The URL for the labs is just here, and the configurator download once you've signed in and everything is comparatively straightforward. The end result of that is that you end up with the Adobe Configurator utility downloaded, and here's what you start off with. Um, it talks you through this process, but generally speaking what you need to do is create a new panel, and it creates a space, a workspace here for you to go and put the various tools and commands that you might want to be using. It's a good idea to give this uh, a meaningful name. So I'm going to uh, create a collection of tools which are to do with um, selecting. So let's put selections. See that gets named up there. And then we can add the varying things that we want to um, add to the panel. So I've brought up this tools area. I'm going to go and uh, put in the various uh, marquee tools there. Might be using maybe the uh, quick selection tool. Of course, if we're talking about selections, we should probably have the pen tool there. I'm going to put that on another tier. And we can move these around, put them where we want them to. I can group select, move them down. If I wanted to go and make a label for any of this, there's some tools down here, so I can go and get myself a... Oops a sample text area here, so I can go and put a notice in here saying um, standard marquee tools. Let's go pop this up here. And then I'm going to nudge this box up using the arrow keys on the keyboard there, just to go and put my standard marquee tools up there. I'm going to put another text widget in here. It's going to say paths. Oops. Well, it's quite frustrating that you've got to use the arrow tools to move this about, actually. And if I wanted to add some other selection-based commands. I could come over to the commands menu here, or to the commands collection, to my selections, and I'm going to add in buttons which will allow me to select the inverse, like so, to deselect all my layers, to select all my layers, to refine edges, like so, and I can go and manoeuvre and manipulate the shape of this panel, move these, back, these around, Far easier to deal with these, you can click right on them. And if I wanted to make sure these were all equally distributed and so on, I can select them all. We've got these standard distribution icons along here, so if I go and uh, align their left edges and distribute the uh, vertical space, then they're all equally spread out there. And we can go and change what the labels are on these as well. So if we wanted to um, add further tool tips as to, to what was going on here, if I go and select this pen tool, we can see over there that we've got the tooltip that's going to come up says that it's the pen tool. 
Now, I think people will probably spot that's that a pen nib. So I'm going to just put in a tooltip which says, um, for smooth uh, selections, that's so. For the marquee, I'm going to put for easy rectangular selections. And they'll appear as tooltips when the, the user takes their cursor over there. And these buttons, which will invoke various commands, we can leave them saying um, the name of the command there, or we could go and amend that if we want. And Photoshop, um, with Configurator, puts the standard Photoshop tooltip there by default as well. So if you didn't want to have that, if you wanted to amend that, you could, you could do so as well. So that's how we can cre create the panel. There's quite a lot of more other things we can do with this, which I'll touch upon later. But for the moment, I've got this selected. I've got the selections panel made. And I'm going to save it, just by coming up here and doing a quick save. Um, I'm going to put that onto the, uh, into the panels panel. We'll see where that's ended up in a moment. That's not quite all I need here. I need to also go and save this so it's a panel that I can use within Photoshop. And we do that by exporting the panel. And Configurator knows exactly where to go and put it, which is within the Photoshop folder, the Plugins folder and Panels, but it's going to take you there anyway. And if I select that, say OK, that panel's now been added to Photoshop. And if I go and launch Photoshop here, under the Window menu now, and Extensions, there's my Selections panel, like so. And we can use this to control Photoshop. If I go and click on any of these, you can see it goes and selects the thing I'm clicking on here. And these will invoke various commands from the menus. And it just provides a very easy way of organising your workspace.